What's up guys? This is the Rokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Poland. And in this episode, the garrison of Istanbul is sallying for a second time. So let's give them what they so desperately desire, a quick death. They have no mortared in this instance, so we don't have to worry about deploying backwards. We can push up in their faces and annihilate them more rapidly. It's interesting the mortars have, have been wiped out. We didn't actually kill any of them in the last action, but, you know, whatever, I'll take it. No need for defences today. No, sir. Okay, let's... Put my skirmishes and heavy infantry on the right. Pikes don't have to worry about battle for now. Same with the cavalry. You did your job the last time. The infantry can do their part now. Yeah, you men push around the flank. Ah, well. Cavalry involved. My infantry are marching up. The enemy infantry is in is not isn't very capable and is in low numbers. So ideally Newman push up to here and you can annihilate them as they come out of the fort. Arm populace, Islamic swordsman, a czar. They will be the first to die. Uh, militia, run the long way around, please. Islamic swordsman might get a charge off. Because it's sound, we got funny. Because it's raining, sound our sound is a bit odd. The armed populace have... <laughs> yeah, they've been, they made it to the line, but they've charged marines. Not necessarily the best choice. Actually, let's retarget my artillery to engage in this area here. They're charging down the <laughs> down the slope towards us. My marines are chasing the enemy down, but they're not. They don't need to do that, that's what we've got the cavalry for. Although... In your waverings you're getting a bucket load of short range musket fire. When you stop moving you should get your breath back a little bit and it'll be just a little bit more grateful of the opportunity you've been given. This guy he feels so nonchalant. Not anymore. Oh, they're going to run through my marines. My marines are going to get a handful of kills here. We don't really have to make them attack. They're going to kill a bunch of them as they push through. Who's this coming out? What's the general unit? The sixth. There you go. They are they are surrounded. Is that everybody? Yeah, that's everybody. So we could continue the battle and slaughter them, and actually we might. Just 
because right now they're in a position where you guys go here and block off that escape route. I mean, it looks like they can't decide where to run. Which is kind of ideal. And I want you guys up here just to help them make the decision. Because <laughs> it looks like they're just... Yeah, they're just running backwards and forwards. Okay, you might be better off actually going over here. Yeah, they can't work out what direction to run away. Yes, they can. They worked it out, General. Pursue some of those routing units. There we go. Now these guys are just... They're effectively going to get executed. Doesn't really matter if we kill them. Just that this is actually a bit bizarre. Yeah, I don't really know where to go. As a result, it just means that everybody's going to... Actually, people aren't shooting. Okay, there we go. Now they're doing it. You just attack this unit of infantry. Actually, no. Well, they, no, actually, don't attack. Don't attack this unit, because that unit's the one that's in the middle. Let them run. I mean, this guy, there's one, his, his comrade is somewhere. Oh, his comrade was in the centre and he died too. Nice. So that's the Istanbul garrison, garrison just annihilated. They've only got 100 men remaining. The city is taken. So now we have to hold the city and start to get some Catholicism being generated in this region. I think our trade with the Mughal Empire is now... Well, no, they own the East. Uh, no, I'm not going to help you in your war against the Marathas. I'm going to go for easier targets in the Americas to grow my empire. If you can hold on, that would be super. The Barbary states have been turned back by the Genoese. And again, <laughs> you just don't learn, do you? Right, the traits gained. No sense of shame and mistress. My general's got an aide to camp. Utilitarianism has been researched. Upgrade two of my universities. Don't research carbines like what you were going to do. Instead, perhaps research a sextant. Let's start to get some naval technologies on the go. We've got some farms. It hasn't immediately translated into the booming growth of towns. We have no towns in Istanbul that we can turn into a religious school it's maybe not a great all of our universities we do need some of this money to repair the damage that's been done you know bulk author well 50 50 orthodox 10 turns at kazani let's exempt you from tax that kind kind of helps seven turns till kazani's grown Okay, I might actually get my agent over here. Because Crimea is not that far away after a new town being developed. Get the ball rolling on, grow, on growing Catholicism in Istanbul. Get the army replenished. Apart from that, anticipate rebellion, because it will happen. 
3,100. Okay, I think we are back on the farm building. Recruited. We've got a second bitrate in the Baltic Sea. Great. Let's get you off to the new world. And hopefully we don't get ambushed. Might need to dispatch a unit of pikemen to hold the port while we build a light galley to act as a port guard ship. Letter of demands from Rumelia. Already? I suppose it splits the first turn. Awesome. Okay. Two more turns till we get a full spread of, of new technology. Let's hit end turn. Britain wants trade. Yes, we shall. Excellent idea. Okay, they're sending. Hopefully, they they might attack any Istanbul rebels, but we do want to try and take Greece as quickly as we can. We're not going to want the Austrians to grow any stronger on the continent. And then it'll be about just boosting our home territories and expansion abroad. We've got two pirate territories we can take. They'll start producing goods for the Empire. Then, I'm not sure what we do. We have to be very careful where we choose to attack. So who do we attack? 13 colonies and incur the wrath of Britain. Do we attack France or Spanish territories? I don't know. Barbary states continue to get sank in large numbers. That's great. 13,000 gold this turn. That's excellent. Sail to the Americas. Okay, lots of farm upgrades have been done. Upgrade you. Upgrade Another university upgrade Sevastopol. We've got our yard ship. Workers have rioted in Rumelia. They've damaged the ordnance factory, which I don't really care about. They don't have a drill school, so that means it doesn't give me easy access to Dragoons, although I don't have Carbines so I can't recruit Dragoons for garrison purposes. Let's get a Grand Opera House. Okay. Let's disband our battery of Demi Cannons and replace them with two units of 12 pounders. That's something we kind of want to do across the board really. 12 pounders are just a flat upgrade. They've got lots more mobility. Okay, the next turn all our technology comes in. We should. So six turns, 12 turns, five turns, one turn, three turns, 20 turns, five turns, 10 turns, seven, 11, eight. Yeah, we're gonna start getting some good growth in our empire and solidifying of our tax base that's going to be the biggest thing we're going to get to a point where we can trade will be well our economy is just going, is just going to explode soon we're going to have a booming tax base we're going to have trade coming in from overseas it's just going to be great
again, an alliance with even less money? No. Don't think that's a good idea. Saxony is on the go. New town emerges, Bratslistovsk in Lithuania. Craft workshop for you. Frugal and thrifty. Ah, oh, minus two for the treasury. He's become a spinster. I mean, he's still really, he's still good, but he he was better. Okay, so socket bayonet. You've gone to carbines. Yes, I agree with that. You've got on to measuring tools. Yes, I agree with that. You've gone on to naval shore facilities. Yes, I agree with that. Let's build a great parliament. Lots of good upgrades. Okay, get government chambers just to make that be completed. Yeah, let's get government chambers. There are the Ottoman rebels. They're minus two, but that will so go down pretty rapidly. But the main thing is, oh, well, actually, they're the wrong end. Come on. The Inuit protected. They are not protected by anybody. But how dangerous are you? Full stack of native troops. Nope. Pirates are what we want. Let's attack the pirate capital. Unit recruited. Yeah, Crimea. We've got our artillery. Rebellion in Rumelia. Yeah, that's fine. When you wander near the capital, we'll get you. Hey, maybe we can't recruit units when there's a rebellion. Let's get some, we'll get carbines, then we'll recruit some dragoons. They'll help keep the public order in check. And then we can move our armies around the way that we want to. We're raiding Westphalia. Spain owns Naples. I'm not sure I like that. The Marathas, yeah, they only move around on sea. They haven't done anything major on land this turn. The Mughals have cleared them out. They're not having any of it. The rest of the world seems content just to let us do our own thing. Peace with the Barbary States? No. I'm tempted to at some point invade you and get give your territories to Saxony to boost their empire. Rebels are... Oh yes, the, the um, Austrians attacked the rebels. Or they intercepted the rebels. Okay, let's send a detachment out to take them out. There we go, they're fine. Charge. Never in doubt. Let's get some Dragoons anyway. Oh, the Ordnance Factory was destroyed. was damaged, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. Makes sense. Where's our other school? Here it is. Recruit some Dragoons. Keep everyone happy. Upgrade the Iron Workshops here. 341. Come on, man. Attack Antigua. Attack 
attack this home of pirate scum. Then we've gained access to some precious sugar resources. Then we'll push on to Trinidad and Tobago. Take that as well. This may draw us into war with Colonial Empire. But that's good for our perspective. It gives us another target in Europe. Which will be a war of defence rather than offence. Guns deployed a really weird angle. Something like this. Keep the cavalry, my lancers, my precious lancers out wide. They're right in front of us. Storm, storm, storm. So I'm going to tell you just is it, <laughs> it's upset there uh, the howitzer batteries right off the bat yeah they're going for the pikemen they traditionally go for pikes come on first lancers get on the move To be honest, you might just have a go. Lance is dipped. Running down the pirate mob. Excellent. Withdraw the cavalry. Cavalry re engaged. Re engage the cavalry. Pirate and Mob are engaging us with their muskets. Infantry, gun down there. Gunners, chase them off. With withdraw the lancers. There's enemies dug in in them narrow hills. Keep my artillery focusing, focus on bombarding the firelock arm citizenry to the rear. Yeah, big enemy collapse. Form a new front line. Okay, ready to hold them off lest they come back. You're in trouble now. All of your piratey little friends. They've all had enough. Except for some of them. This is why we're bringing in the infantry. I mean, 
if they want to just run into this area where we can just engage them with superior gunnery okay they've been pushed back again militia push the units to the rear same with these two units getting on the flank you pushing ahead of them artillery cease fire you men take them head on they've abandoned their defensive position bring in the lancers You've had enough. Militia just keep picking at the units as they rout. Get into position. Lancers, get on the flank. Here come the cavalry. Give them the order. Now oh, they broke. Yeah, you better run. Excellent. So Antigua is secure. That is our first colonial capture. Not that we can do anything about it. We can get rid of the shipyard though. If you want to get access to uh sugar plantations and get them opening up to the world well when i say the world i mean our empire so you don't have any access to sugar yet we've got lots of trade partners people that would very much like to benefit from our polar sugar empire france and britain still at war Martinique, do what you like. I mean, obviously, France, if you betray me, we will attack you with a fury and vengeance that you'll like, of which you'll never have seen. The Ottomans being the Ottomans. That's right, push forward into Austrian territory. Bother them. Don't bother me. Russia's pushing forward towards the Swedish frontier. Good for them. The Knight of St. John are just clearing out the pirates. Good for them. Very good for them. I mean, it's good for everybody. Hanover is raiding the Dutch. Yes, Hanover. Let's see if we can bring Hanover into our um, into our alliance. Because yeah, they are. The minor nation of Hanover, that war. Yes, Hanover. Savoy, we're a good Catholic people. You want an alliance? No. No, I'm not going to pay you either. New Spain. You're a new Catholic empire in the new world. Of course you want to trade with us. Of course you do. A new town, Bucharest. Church school, ahoy. Let's begin the Catholicizing of the Balkans. Let's get some of the new towns upgraded. Take everybody out except the dragoons. Understandably, they're not quite. I mean, there's no urgent push on to Athens right now. I mean, they've got a reasonable little navy down there. Crimea is, is mostly secure. I mean, we take everybody out except the dragoons. Minus six. Not yet. There's a balance to be struck, but we're not. I'm not worried about finding it just yet. 
We hear of Vilnius recruiting unit of line infantry. Oh, actually, they're light cavalry. Let's probably just recruit a unit of regiment of horse. Okay. Right. So what do we want? Keep the industry upgrades coming first and foremost over the in, in place of the farms. In Kiev, let's get an opera house because that will boost our economy. Ah, oh, we do want to start building a military academy in Warsaw. And then we can build a farm. Actually, no, we don't. We've got 3,000. That's a good amount of money. Actually, let's get a Admiralty just to boost some of our naval tech research. Vilnius, let's agree an ordinance. Actually, no, does that need to be? I, prefer, I like building new things in my capital if I can. Primarily. Just because I, that's what I fancy. So you, we've got carbines, you've gone onto wedge formation, which we don't really need. But it gets us access to new cavalry units, which is always awesome. Yeah, let's keep get Istanbul sweet and then we'll sail down to land near Athens, take Athens, make peace with the Ottomans and say, right, that's fine. We've got a new, we can focus on our economy overseas. Although I've immediately not done that by upgrading other things. Let's cancel the Weaver's Cottage upgrade in order to get trade ports the government building we can't we, we can't build dirt roads yet but that will start to get lots of polish immigration out to this region and we'll do the same when we take trinidad i suppose we could take things like the pueblo nation i mean these native american regions we need to have a decent army to attack them because they if you if you don't treat these regions with respect they will Punish you accordingly. They will. Your armies will get annihilated. <laughs> That's what I've learned. If you do think you can just blitz into them and steamroll them and you kind of get a bit cocky, then you're going to get taught a painful lesson real quick. Austria bringing more troops into the Balkans. Spain would be an ideal capture. Well, some of the Spanish territories would be an ideal capture. See, I really like Cuba and Hispaniola. I really like taking those territories. Lots of goods, lots of ports. Hispaniola is particularly good for ports. Raiding the port home, the port of Austria. Good. 14,000. That's great. New university in Poland. Awesome. Let's upgrade this craft workshop. We cancelled it before. So if I take all of you out, Whatever. except for this one unit of dragoons, minus one. Couple units of line infantry should be enough. Okay, let's bring you up. Pick up the army. Land them off the coast. Sail you back to Crimea. Not in range to attack the garrison yet, but we will do. Election results. I'm, ooh, my government's mostly intact. Our oh, new America's minister. 
Yes, of course, because that's a thing we have to we have right now. Let's upgrade to a military governor's barracks just to maximize what we can actually build here. Get better roads. Upgrade the sugar plantation. And let's get that sweet, sweet production. 4,700. I suppose we could afford to spend some money on Berlin right now. Probably don't need a happiness building exactly. Could build industry. Upgrade the seminary. Upgrade one of the farms in Istanbul. Yeah, they're a bit unhappy about it, but you know, next next turn's worth of recruitment, they're going to be fine with it. We don't have any anybody near us from the Ottoman side to worry about. Can you? Oh, we're not, no, we're not actually at war with them. <laughs> right, get you down to Crimea then, I suppose. Cool. One more turn to then a couple of technologies are done. French repairing their port. That's right, Spain. Go attack the... Oh, they lost against the Barbary States. They lost. There's nothing they could do. It's not ideal. Uh, I am defending against a push from... The Ottomans, let's do this. And it will push their garrison away from Athens as well. If we win. So we've been attacked. The garrison's coming in to try and save. Well, the garrison's coming in as a reinforcement. Don't have to worry about that quite so much. Just hold our ground, push them back, take Greece, make peace. Then we can go all in on the colonial mission. Uh, do I want to defend the town? Not really. I want to be up here. I want to put one gun team up here. I don't mind defending. Mm, I would rather. I would rather not defend the town and instead shred them to pieces with my superior firepower as they leave the town. I could put some grenadiers and some elites over here just to hold the town. Now they can use my warband as a bit of a breakwater inside this house. Let's take the line infantry, expats and line infantry. They'll deploy to the right of the guns, or this gun. So you guys are all deployed. You're deployed. These three units can be can deploy based on where the enemy are going to come in from. My melee cavalry stay wide. My dragoons can stay on the left. Pikemen are going to stay on the left. My other gun. Wait and see what the enemy are going to do. General. Here. Okay, they're coming in on the left. Not ideal. You could come over. Okay, let's take. 
some of my infantry, get them to deploy over on the left. You guys aren't going to really be needed on this flank either. Let's bring you guys across. We'll bring one unit of missiles up onto the high ground. My lancers can come back. I mean, there's more of you than this. You're definitely hiding. Stakes. Fall back through the line. My gunners. I mean, they're engaging the general's unit. Let's probably engage the Felaim. Enemy cavalry coming in first. They are going to run within musket range. Interesting. Again, now they're being fired upon. So that's where the guns want to go. So let's repel the immediate infantry threat. Hopefully on my hussars we can shatter them. Then we can just redeploy our entire army. Just might just kill them all. They're going after my cavalry now we've committed them. I'll kill the last of the other. Mop up the in. My lances have been charged by the general's bodyguard. The Bashi Bazooks are coming. We just want to run through this Felain unit. Deadly horsemen are getting to eat out with my men in the town not going to work out well for them. Okay, here comes the next unit of their cavalry, Delhi Horsemen no less. Bring them back to my gun line. Get my engineers out here in case they need a bit of extra support. Good hit on the Delhi Horsemen. These are the picking off my line infantry. Push forward. Engage them with cast shock, my 12 pounders. Shoot with round shot now, actually, in case they run out of range. If 
few good kills. So we must chase off the general's bodyguard, but we didn't necessarily kill them. Chase down the Bashi Badooks. First light horse and just heroes. I mean heroes. They're right now just stabbing people in the back. But you know, some call it murder, I call it victory. back and place the advance forward then we'll push back again militia didn't manage to shoot the general off his horse which is fine okay we've lured them forward now push out again Artillery and Limber. Day Horsemen going off to my cavalry again. I've got a bit of cover, like a handful of casualties that get within range of my. Go chase the Azars away again. the third altar to our front. Excellent hit there. Lots of good hits. Engineers form square. You engage the first altar. Get into line, open up on the Delhi Horsemen. Make ready! Old well, Pounder just keep blatting off shots against. And missed! One guy slow mo running. Get him, don't just wait, otherwise, you'll just get shot to pieces. Okay, the enemy are marching towards our line again. do not want to engage. Okay, but the enemy are massing their forces. Let's see if we can... And they're focusing on the 8th, but rather than poking this block of troops right here. 
There's a limit to what the first regiment of militia are able to do. They're in a nice little gully position here. They're protected from my artillery to a certain degree, but as soon as they try and advance out of it, they're in a lot of trouble. Start getting engaged in the flank. A few kills here. First unit broken. Artillery slamming home. Musketry's hitting multiple units, and they've all broken in one clip. Could commit the lances, but let's let them come in again. Yeah, the 19th Regiment are opening up on the 1st. Get them a bit of extra support. There you go, they're reforming. Apart from the 8th, they're shattered. They're not going into that killing field again. You men focus on the 9th. These units are bugged joining the field, so... Yeah, I think this might be all the enemy can bring to bear. Muslim, yeah, they're breaking. I mean, can't blame them, they're armed with pitchforks. The ninth have come in again and been repulsed. This unit of Azar are probably going to cause some issues. First order have returned. Let's bring my light horse up. These poor souls. A chance. Where are my pikemen? Get my pikemen in here. Get them to start pushing against the Delhi horsemen. And then, yeah, it looks like these guys have just. Yeah, let's just tack ground with my guns here. You, in, you are in range? It's just a bit short. It's time to focus on that hill. See if we can land some shots nearby that might help them out. There you go, they're landing some shots against my pikes. Pikemen fancy it. Ah, a Frodo. Ah. Yeah, they don't like that. They're not going to reload in time. Maybe they're falling thick and fast. Superb engagement for us. We're firing on our flank. Should be able to deal with these fellows before that becomes a massive problem. Although apparently they do consider themselves as winning slightly. Chipping away at them. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. And now the sound has fixed itself. They're losing cavalry faster than we're losing men. Oh no, we are wavering. I suppose pike, pike morale, is, morale isn't that great. We are being picked at. 
could send up some troops to support, but let's see what happens. Versus cavalry versus pikemen. It's what tale of all this time. But against the infantry, these guys will just pit, would just will just pin us, and the Azar will just shoot us in the flank. So, I mean, I gave you orders to run. You're just you can't extricate yourself from the engagement. Knock out the first regiment. Let's clear out one infantry unit at least. Have they managed to resolve their deployment problem? It appears not. I don't I have no interest in keeping you alive. Do as I say. Pikes are no more you see them. We're gonna run you through the first foot guards who will be instructed to not fire. They will pursue us and be gunned down by the first regiment of line infantry. See they're chasing us. Foolhardy fellows that they are. One pikeman was shot down in the engagement. Nothing more than they deserve. They, did they decide not to listen? That's their prerogative. Kill that last unit. Get my dragoons to run through the town and attack those as are from the rear. These as are we're going to deal with by advancing our line. Infantry engage in lovely white coats. You're in trouble now. You killed the enemy general. So they, they technically count as being on the field, apparently. I mean, we'll advance people up here in the event that they do get out. But well, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when... ...something happens. So, see you in a second, everyone. The artillery worked. They entered the field. We killed enough of them. They kind of, they kind of just screwed with their not programming exactly, but they just kind of went, oh man, and then they deployed properly. So now these guys are all going to be enticed by my pikemen. And these guys are going to get thrown down by the enemy line. They're going to reload for the Azars to get in. Okay, 
here comes enemy horsemen. I don't mind if I pike my militia out. I thought they were going to come in from here, so they're in a bit of a bad position. Let's just try and run my pikemen away. My pikemen, my, my uh, militia. They're going to get cut down in the crossfire, but there's a risk worth taking. sound effects clear off you looks like though that horseman unit is the last unit they've got They're not going to be around for a huge amount of time. Hello, who are you? No, they're sticking around. Oh, my first regiment is deploying. It's the end of them. Nice, okay, so that nicely didn't take as long as it needed to for me to sort out. Oh no, do we have... Enemy artillery, that might be. Oh, there we go, my attack grounding artillery took care of some of them. The shattered Israeli units, everyone's just reloading like mad now, so as soon as they're on the field. You men can engage us if you like, but I don't think you want to get as much fire power off as we're going to. Yeah. Back you go. Melee janissaries, make sure hopefully everyone's reloaded in time. A lot of them are dying from the musketry, they've lost a, th a third of their men already. First regiment of foot being punished. Let's commit the fifth regiment into the line. Now oh, the Azar are in range. There they go. Okay, so that's it. Okay, it says close victory again. Don't think it's very close. I think that was quite a good victory, really. They've only got, they've still got lots of men remaining, but less than half than what they had before. It was a pretty decisive loss for the Ottomans. Good old Hanover. We will fight to defend you. Hopefully it's against Denmark. Then we can sail in, capture Denmark and capture... <gasps> Is Iceland owned by pirates? Or rebels, or or is it the Iroquois? It is. So they've traded it for Michigan Territory. Two new towns, Lublin in Poland. And Pinsk in Belarus. Excellent. Okay, upgrade university. Bulgaria's got a new school. Upgrade that, keep the farms upgrading. Guadeloupe in the Leeward Islands. We've got a commercial port, lads. We've got a foothold. Okay, let's disband, disband these uh, demi cannons, replace them with 12 pounders, and get some buccaneers. So Romelia's got some line infantry, and that's kept them safe and sound. Well, you know, it's keeping them located. So in theory, Athens is upgrading everything. Well, the Ottomans are upgrading everything. So one argument is to wait for them to build everything, and then take it over. But nevertheless, I still want to attack it. And they've got reinforcements from the dock. 
from the force that we defeated before. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Poland. Cheers everyone.